The Battle of Lexington and Concord The Battle of Lexington and Concord happened in Massachusetts on April 19, 1775. The night of April 18, 1775, 700 British troops secretly left Boston, where then they would head to Lexington, where there they helped capture Samuel Adams and John Hancock. Before they had arrived, Paul Revere, one of the most active members of the Sons of Liberty, and two other men named William Dawes and Samuel Prescott, discovered the British plan and went back to warn the colonists. Paul Revere did not shout that the British were coming because then it would have confused the people, for they still considered themselves British. The warning was successful, but Paul Revere was captured. At 5 o'clock, the British and Minutemen arrived at the Green or Common area. John Parker, the militiaman leader, told them to hold their fire. The British troops were also not going to shoot at the militiamen, when all of a sudden a gunshot was heard. This shot was called the shot heard around the world. It was called this because it was the first shot of the American Revolution and this shot also be began the Battle of Lexington. The British stood in firing lines while the colonists and militiamen did it, which made it harder for the British to shoot at the militiamen. Before the battle ended, Samuel, Samuel Adams and John Hancock had escaped. At the end of the battle, eight militiamen were dead and nine were wounded, while on the British side only one British soldier was injured. After the Battle of Lexington, the British headed to Concord, where there they would get gunpowder and other weapons. At 7.30, they arrived at Concord and were in search for weapons and burning down houses while 2,000 militiamen had arrived at the Northern Bridge. Once at the Northern Bridge, the British shot at the militiamen, killing two of them. But when the militiamen returned the volley, the British were forced to retreat towards Charleston. The militiamen tried their best to not let them retreat, but they were unsuccessful. So the British could retreat more rapidly, they left clothes, guns, and other equipment. The militiamen then hid behind stone walls, trees, and fences and shot at the leaving army. The British were shocked to see their technique, for they had not seen any other enemy do as they did. After this battle, the British went towards Charleston where they had reinforcements. If it wouldn't have been for their reinforcements, the British would have been killed or captured. After the battles, the British had lost 273 men total and the Americans or militiamen had lost a total of 103 men. As a result of the battles, 15,000 men surrounded Boston and the American Revolution had begun. The Battle of Lexington and Concord was a major turning point in history because it was the start of the American Revolution and it was a major victory over one of the best armies in the world and because later it would lead to the signing of the Declaration of Independence. If the battles of Lexington and Concord wouldn't have happened, then there would have been possibilities that the American Revolution would have never happened and then the Declaration of Independence never being signed. The Battle of Lexington and Concord affected a lot of the revolution history and U.S. history and this is why the American Revolution and the Battles of Lexington and Concord is a major turning point in history.